Okay, 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 okay. Yo, what up, YouTube? This video is very important, okay? Because this video is going to be pretty much telling you everything that you need to know about the housing system and these dumb as shit mistakes that I myself haven't uh, committed because you know, I'm a genius. But I've seen many other people make these mistakes and they get too nervous, they don't know what to do, and then they hinder their progress. So yes, Techphone today will be making a guide. I know, I don't really make these often, but when I do, they're generally important. Speaking of which, I'm releasing a video that I accidentally released the other day on how to do a hundred times more damage. So another banger guide coming soon after that. Okay? Sometime later in the week, we'll release the video. It's actually not clickbait either, about how to do a hundred times your damage from starting from ground zero to max build. Okay? So, so right a Teapot, in my opinion, other streamers and content creators would say, oh, dude, I fucking hate it. Oh, man, I don't like it, dude. I don't like it. What is this? The Sims? And no, it's fucking Animal Crossing, dumb shit. Okay, and I fucking love that game. <laughs> I got like 300 hours in that shit. So right a Teapot, you know, if this, this, this content isn't for any, you know, regular Genshin cuck. This is for the true connoisseurs of the game. Now, first of all, let me give you a heads up. All right? There was a recent post that just went out, so a lot of y'all probably don't know about this, but we're going to talk about this right now, okay? Teapot traveling salesman visit time. From 4 a.m. every Friday to 4 a.m. on the Monday of the next week, the Teapot traveling salesman will visit your realm bringing precious wares and rare treasures. Uh, you have to buy this shit, okay? And you can't be a shut-in weeb, and you have to go to your friends' places, and you have to see what they have, you have to visit their realms, and you gotta buy shit from theirs too, if you want your island to look as cool as possible, okay? Because he's gonna bring rare shit, which is dope. You got jade-eyed cats, you got uh, black-eyed dogs. Like, uh, uh, you can transform the terrain of your island. It's gonna be dope, and it's gonna be super worth it. So, rather than spending your coin on like, whatever you see fit, uh, in my opinion, due to the, I guess, rarity of the traveling salesman, the only time that it's ever going to be worth to actually buy furnishings, like, and let me show you an example real quick. If you go up to Tubby, you can actually talk to him. That's not how you do it. If you go up to Tubby and you talk to him and you go to Realm Depot, this is where you can buy your coins. And also when you go up to Tubby and you go to your trust rank, he'll actually have a little bank here where you can collect all your coins from. So now we're going to talk about when is it actually worth to buy shit. So in my opinion... The only time that it would ever be worth to actually buy things for furnishings and furnishing blueprints would be if you're very close to upgrading your trust rank. And we're going to circle back to that later. So that way you know exactly what I'm talking about. Or whenever you're about to make a breakthrough uh, to another level of a, I guess, um, income increase. We're going to talk about this real quick. Trust rank. Okay. So if you click this button right here, if you were to buy a furnishing, it'll give you like 20, maybe 10 extra adeptal energy. And then once you reach certain breakpoints, AKA 2K, 3K, 4.5K, 6K, 8K, 10K, uh, if you can buy a piece of furniture that will increase your um, adeptal energy overview, then yeah, it's gonna be worth it. Because if you buy something for 80 coins and then you can get a, uh, an extra four coin an hour increase, that's pretty much gonna pay itself off over the next 20 hours. So it's actually pretty damn worth it. Okay? And same thing for your trust rank. When you get new trust ranks, you can build new things. If you want to buy a blueprint because you just need a little bit of extra trust rank, uh, and then you build it, and then you beat that break point, and then you get more stuff because every single trust rank you do, you get another increase. As you can see right here, this is where Tubby gets a hat. Everybody's really excited about that one. <laughs> and these, we got to talk about these soon too. But yeah, if you're about to make the trust rank uh, break point, you might as well go for it. And plus, it's exciting to do. Wait, there's a final transformation for Tubby? Wait, huh? At level 10, he gets a giant teapot to sit in. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I actually didn't know that. Oh, right, that's dope. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, all right, sorry, getting distracted. Now, the other thing that I want to bring attention to is that when you're building things, I, I unfortunately, yes, me, Tech Dome, the man who makes no mistakes, actually made this mistake myself. So you only get extra trust rank from building items for the first time. Now, I was dumb as shit and I made a bunch of carpets because I had a million of these mats, but there's gonna be an icon in the top right that's going to appear. And if that icon is there, it's gonna look like a little blue stamp. The first time that you build it, you'll get some extra trust points, which is very, very, very important. 
because you can't just build the same item over and over and over again. Now, I'm also going to show the, probably the most asked question that I've seen about the Serena Teapot, and that is this. And I will show you how much I don't give a shit. So, as you can tell, the potions, dude, they don't matter at all. Okay? Some people think they need to hoard those. Dude, they literally don't matter. They're not going to be pay gated by pay to win currency. They don't matter. You get literally, and I'll show you this right here. You get five of the, oh shit, where the fuck is it? Oh, okay, I already bought the shit. That's right, that's right. Okay, I already bought the shit, so it's sold out. But I bought five of them for 50 coins. And let me remind you, this shop refreshes every 24 hours. So every day, you're going to be able to insta five new items out, which pretty much means that the queue times are inconsequential. You don't need to worry about them because pretty much nothing's ever going to be on queue unless you want it to be on queue. Because with the amount of these adeptal potions that you get daily, you're pretty much going to be absolutely fine. A lot of people were worried about this being giga pay gated. It's really not. All right. Now, here's the other thing that I already see a lot of people doing. Okay. And this one's very important to me. It is so, so, so important that you don't just clutter your island in some random shit way because that's a very slippery slope. Okay, it's a very, very, very slippery slope because the moment you make your island a, a cluttered mess, you're going to not give a shit about the island. You're going to forget about it and it's not going to be special anymore. If there is any way that you can take off the ADD section of your brain and worry more about island layout than just getting his max adeptal points, you're gonna be a lot happier. Now that might not be the sweatiest part of it all, but like, please don't clutter your island. Okay, and there might be a remove all. Shows clutter. This ain't cluttered. My, hold up, hold up. I need to adjust my chat real quick. Okay, do, no, 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 no. No, this island, I'm going to tell a story, okay? The left side of my island is going to have a nice forest. That's why I also have the mystery of the six bowling pin rocks. If you call my island cluttered, how fucking dare you? Okay, how fucking dare you? This is a work in progress, and I would appreciate it. If you're gonna talk negatively about my island, for you to shut your fucking mouth, okay? Have some class, all right? Have some class. Okay, if you notice, I got 2270 adeptal energy on the outside of my home, but when I enter my mansion, the two stats of adeptal energy will actually be displayed separately and then combined later, uh, which you can see at the top here at 4290. So my inside of my house is adding around probably more than my outside of the whopping 2,300 or my math is terrible. This is my interrogation room, okay? That's a work in progress, okay? But here is my waiting room and it looks very, very, very nice. I'm gonna show you how I did that in a second. And then I also have my office and my kitchen. My kitchen is also a work in progress. I need to buy a butler. And here is my main headquarters for uh, commencing mission operations and uh, trying to figure out <laughs> How many angry Twitter posts I need to have until we get more Primo gems and higher energy recharge rate? Okay, this is this is where we write them down. Okay, another big uh, dope tip I can give is that uh, yeah, there's these things called indoor sets, and if you're shit at decorating, like pretty much everybody that you see up here in this chat, because they're all a bunch of brainless dickheads who just live to harass me, you can collect items for these sets, and then you can auto place them by collecting every single one. <laughs> Hey, sorry, chat. Hey, sorry. There were a couple dickheads today, but uh, if you wanna if you wanna join my my Twitch chat and get offended at the things I see, feel free to click the link in the description and uh, the pinned comment uh, on the video that says twitch.tv forward slash tone and follow today. All right, cool. So you can collect all these items and then you can actually place a set, uh, and it makes it really easy. It makes it really easy to look good in the game. And another dope thing that you can do is that if you go here uh, and you go to drop an item. There's a way where you can click this and you can press snap to grid. And this way, uh, now that it's gonna be snapped to grid, uh, it'll be a lot easier. As you can tell, it like kind of stutter steps. It'll always kind of make sure that it'll be easier for you to keep things symmetrical, which is important. And you know what, right here, like for example, this is the theme that I'm going for. This is gonna be my kitchen. So I'm gonna rotate this and I'm gonna put this right here. And now I have like an herbs and spices drawer. And <clears throat> I may get a little bit too into this. But uh, for me, having a cohesive house that tells a story is very important. Like, for example, I consider my house a waiting room where I'm actually, it's actually a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, a bed and breakfast, an Airbnb. And whenever people want to check in, they come in here 
They sit at these little tables. I get my butler, butler Joffrey, to come in here. <clears throat> he checks them in, and then I lead them up to their stupid fucking rooms that Mahoyo won't let me enter yet for some reason. I hate the fact that I have doors in my house I can't use. But yeah, if you don't know how to decorate, just think about try to figure out a purpose for every single. Oh, also, yo, easy as that, bro. I got a dog. Huge. Okay. That's actually sick. Oh my God, there's so much free shit. What the fuck? I got a stone lion statue, damn. But yeah, uh, the Serena Teapot. It's in my opinion, one of the best ideas to ever be brought to Genshin ever. Uh, and if you also care about decorating your island and you wanna show it off, I'm actually gonna do a housing tournament at my Twitch. So if you wanna go follow there, you can enter a tournament to win real money uh by showing off your house whoever has the best house will receive a cool cash prize and i'll wail for you but regardless i'm just really excited about this man and i don't want anybody to think that this is some time gated nest where you have to be super careful with all of your shit you really don't just snap the grid place things nicely use your potions as you wish buy all five every day wait till the weekends to buy cool shit and make friends that's pretty much all you need to know but most importantly take care of your island because your island loves you and if you embarrass it, I'll never fucking forgive you. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the housing system as I am. Catch you on the next one. Peace.